brother been sitting there for 30, he'd been going through what he'd been going through for 38 years. And sometimes you and I can be going through what we've been going through for so long, we don't, want, we, we don't even expect things to change. We don't expect things to turn around. We don't even expect the breakthrough. We don't even expect God to do anything. I told you about learn helplessness already. I told you about the house of mercy. It will become your house of misery when you live in mediocrity and hear a place that's supposed to bring you help and hope and solace and peace and comfort. It can be your demise when you don't move. Can I tell you nothing? Mm. Let's say it right. Let me say it the right way. It's not so much that some people don't like you. It's just the fact that your motivation exposes them. <clears throat> it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not so much it's not so much that people take issue with you. It's the fact that because of the fact you're so tenacious, you're so, you're so determined, you're, you're so goal-oriented. You know what God has said to you, that it exposes their laziness. It exposes their mediocrity because you're doing more with less. They got more. They have more time, more experience, more money, more support. But you got a little bit, and you're making your little bit work. Lord have mercy. Can I tell you that everybody, everybody, that's not, that's not a, it's not a, don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. When, 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 again, it's not, about, it's not about fairness. It's about favor. Yeah. This year, I would not be crippled by not answering crucial questions. Look, look what Jesus does to his brother. Let me just give y'all. I'm just going to give y'all the points because I don't got time to unpack all this. John 5 and 6 says, and when, when Jesus noticed him lying there helpless, <clears throat> knowing him, he had already been there a long time in that condition. He said to him, don't miss this, y'all. Do you want to become well? Are you really in earnest? Are you really serious about getting well you would think when we hear that man we'll be like why would you ask this man this it's like asking a a man dying of thirst do you want some water what you think <laughs> I'm, I'm starving <laughs> and you asking me do i want something to eat yes yeah i want something to eat. yeah duh, duh i want something to eat but it, it's more than just that because jesus sees the heart of this brother and Jesus never deals with, see, see, we just, we just see people on the outside, but the Lord deals with us, how, how, what, what's going on in our heart. He knows what we can handle. He knows what we can't handle. And he sees our heart. And Jesus said, do you really want to become? Well, I hear you saying in 2022, your, your, your year elevation. Do you really want to be elevated? Do you really want to come out? Do you really want to break through? Do you really want this thing to shift and to change? And to do? Jesus said, do you really want to be whole? Do you really want to be healed? This is what Jesus is asking him. Look at the definition. It means to be whole, to be sound, to be healthy, having indicative of good health, body and mind, free from infirmity or disease. And Jesus is asking his brother, do you really want? Jesus is not asking this brother this question to try to gain information. Jesus is trying to give him some information and say, you're sitting here like you want to be whole. You're sitting here like you want things to turn around but you know you're not serious about your breakthrough you know you're not serious about your delivery if you was really f serious about your breakthrough you still wouldn't be doing those things that broke you down yeah. this year I will not be crippled by not obeying his word here here this brother been in this condition for 38 years and Jesus said do you want to be made whole not do you want to be stroked not do you want to be pacified not do you want to be somebody to just to cool you up and stroke you down that's not what Jesus said do you want to be made whole so look at what Jesus said look at this command that he gives him in John chapter 5 verse 8 the Bible said Jesus said to him get up take up your bed and walk Lord have mercy and I come by to tell you my friend it doesn't matter how long you've been in it I don't matter how long you've been in, if you've been bothered by no matter how long it's keep you keep you bound keep you crippled I don't care how long you've had those crutches but the Lord can tell you that you can kick the crutches my friend because the word of the Lord said get up somebody say get up get get up get up means to stand up get up means to arise get up means oh you mean to tell get up means to elevate is what God is saying God is saying elevate get up from your crying get up from your complaining get up from your murmuring get up from always saying nobody help you get up from saying you miss your best time Get up from saying that your dead days are behind you. Get up from you saying I woulda, I coulda, I shoulda. Get up and do what God has called you to do.
on behalf of everyone at Truth and Love Ministries, we want to thank you for joining us for our virtual worship experience. We want to thank you for your likes and your shares, your comments and your emojis. But we also want to invite you to partner with us as we continue to be the hands and the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. You do know that he told us that we ought to feed the hungry, we ought to clothe the naked, and we ought to be the church. And you can help us to continue to do just that through your generosity. And there are three easy, safe, and secure ways that you can do just that. You can text the word T-I-L Jax, one word, T-I-L Jax, to the number 77977. You can go to our website, www.truthandlove.tv, or you can go to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, search for Truth and Love Jax, download our app, and you can give that way. We thank you for your participation. We thank you for your generosity, and we love you, and we'll see you next time. Here comes the church. God bless you.